Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to take a series of strings as well as true, false, a few numbers, and even a comparison. And I want to sort this data as if it is all numbers. So how to do it is actually easy, but then we have to understand what's going on. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say stuff.sort and we're going to use a key of float. So that is how we can convert it to a float which will be used for the comparison. When we print this data, it's going to maintain its original type. So the next thing we need to do is figure out how this stuff is being compared. You can see we have negative one coming very first, and then we have, you know, false, some zeros, some trues. What is going on here? Well, the very first thing I wanted to show you guys is that we're using a variable. Age is five, and we're comparing it to this. Well, this is going to evaluate to true because five is less than 30. So that's where one of these trues come from. You can see we have one true in the original list and we have an additional true in the output. So the expressions are going to evaluate. The values are gonna stay the same. So if it was a Boolean such as true or false, it's gonna stay a Boolean true or false. If it's a number such as zero, it's gonna stay a number like so. If instead it's a string such as this one here, zero, it's going to stay a string. Well, this data is going to be sorted from least to greatest, and the important thing to understand is that anytime you have a true, it's considered to be a one. Anytime you have a false, it's considered to be a zero. So going from left to right, we have negative one, zero, 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 one, 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 and then the rest is just strings that are being interpreted as numbers. So that is how you would do a numerical sort on a bunch of data, but notice in here, none of this data is a string that cannot be converted. So for example, if I put a string in here such as hello, man, Python is gonna flip. Running this, we get an error, could not convert string to float. So everything in here up to this point besides the hello, get rid of that, everything now can easily be converted to a number. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. We've talked about a lot of sorting stuff, so I wanna take a moment just to review everything we've talked about in this section before we move on to the next. So stay tuned for the next video because we wanna have all the info solid before we move on to the next section on input and output, which should be a whole lot of fun because that's where we can start making actually cool applications. Well, cool is pretty subjective, but I find it pretty interesting. So stay tuned and I'll see you then.